And we're back. Assuming everyone's yeah, back. I'm... Yes. Yes, okay. everyone's here. Good. All right. Uh, so now that Skype is working again, um, you were making a detection roll. Uh, yeah, I was scanning two, two, two degrees. Two degrees. Two degrees of success, yes. Um, you... Your scanners pick up a sizable Necron force uh, just a bit out of range um, for visual at the moment. Um, you can report this back. You can proceed forward yourself and try to see what's there with you know with a better uh, degree of certainty. Or well, we were told to report back as soon as we saw anything. Mm -hmm. That's correct. But are we seeing? We're not seeing. We're scanning. Yeah, your, your, hmm. your scanners are picking up. There's a lot of ships around, but you don't have a visual. We're seeing on the scanner. Like, we should report that. Yeah. There's no reason should. to just well, go charging off the and get blown up. We should, we should probably report it, and we should probably have someone on the bridge looking at the the light that goes off whenever something dangerous is going to happen. No. Because last, last, last time, it took them like three hours to see it blinking, and we nearly died. It's true. It's okay, Grunty got it at the very end. Yeah, he's not there this time. He's in the back or whatever. Or he's just in the corridor. He's just, yeah, he's just loitering around the corridor. He's, he's Probably should get to the engine room. He's sitting there waiting for someone to hit the button. Uh, just mm -hmm. to annihilate him with the demon killer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so Captain? you're reporting back? Is that, is that your decision? Huh? I've informed the captain. The captain's deciding whether he's reporting back or not. Yeah, I'm reporting back. Okay. Uh, so you send an astropathic message back to the other ships. Um, it's possible for you to use uh, Vox communication between the ships, uh, especially in your squadron, but trying to do that with all of the ships here all together would be very complex. So you generally use your astropaths while you've got mm -hmm. them here. Um, Plus okay. Vox Picked up by the Necrons, I assume. It could. You don't know really if Necrons can do that or not. I'm gonna assume they can. They might not even care. They might not even speak the language. Yeah. They're stupid. That's my. Uh, that's all I know. They're garbage. So do we just sit here and wait so, for? So nope, you you get you get a response and it says please uh, move forward and investigate and report back. Move forward because your ships are faster than the rest of the fleet. So please scout ahead. Is the reply? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, you you got a fast ship. How far you guys want to go out here? You... Well, I mean, it's a question of how quickly we can turn around if we discover something. Well, I uh, your maneuverability is twenty five. Really? Yeah. So go by half speed. Yeah, let's start with that and see what happens. Okay. Uh, half speed for you is, what, five? Yeah. Okay, and your squadron moves with you. Five. The rest of the fleet only moves forward one in this time. Uh, you don't have visual contact with the Necrons yet. Should I continue well, to scan? Yes, scan more. Okay. Do it good. Uh... Four degrees of success. Ah, you get some more details now. Uh, you're picking up a lot of smaller Necron ships. Um, frigate, frigate and escort and raider sized ships. Uh, okay, you should see them on your view right now. Oh, that's uh. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Well, that's. I mean, I guess that's what we were after, but still. Whew. Um, you know, you've you've actually you've never seen ships like these before. Uh, you have basically no idea of their capabilities. You can try to specifically scan one of them. You can keep going with long range scans and just trying to pick up more ships in general. You can move f forward more. What's your plan here? What do you want to do? Uh, how about we try and move? I mean, we don't want to move straight into them, right? How about we do like 
move this way and then mm -hmm. keep scanning over here so that we we're not on a straight collision course with them but we slowly i'm thinking there's closing. probably going to be more around there in, in the middle that's what yeah that's what i'm thinking too okay so which way do you want to move you can move yourself do i think that's a good idea yeah uh sure. common lore with one degree of success well, judging by what you're seeing there, uh, you think that's going to move you towards the center of the Necron fleet if you're going that way. Yeah, I sort of. I think we want to stay around the outside. Okay, so you're saying moving this way? Yeah, I think that way. We because okay. we're supposed to be like around the edge and the back, not. Yeah, that's true. Getting stuck uh, in the middle. Yeah, so let's move this way and keep uh, our long range scanners and see if we can find anything else. I mean, like here. Full or half? Half, I think. All right. So that's five. It's five puts you right here. Yeah. Okay. Your other ships are with you as well. Um, what, what is their maximum speed? Uh, theirs is the same as yours. Okay. The, okay. Yep. That's why you're all in a fleet together. Or squad together. Uh, go ahead and scan again then. Scan. God damn it. One degree of success. Uh, you pick up just a few more Necron ships here. Let's see. Okay. All the same size, tinier, tinier ships that are pr approximately in line with the size of your ship. Hmm. Uh, the rest of the fleet moves forward just one again. Well, I, I mean, we keep relaying this information to them. Um, I guess we do the same thing again. We move diagonally down here and do some more scanning. Okay. Are, are these ships moving, by the way? No, they're actually just sitting there right now. Hmm. They haven't detected a threat? Well, I mean, they're in space. Yeah, either that or they're waiting for us to come to them. Well, last time we went there, like last time we interacted with Necrons, they didn't do anything until... They wanted to kill us. Until well, we started. Well, they were actually at, they were at that shuttle. They were disem dissembling. Yeah, because the shuttle. shuttle had attacked their planet with a vicious... <laughs> well, to be fair... Suicide attack or whatever. First of all, we haven't... I mean, we haven't run into the Necrons. But... <laughs> Secondly, yes. Like it. There's lots of them, and they're scan more. They're gonna be as good or better as our shit. I hate it. Mm. You don't wow. find any new ships. I'm trying to see if there's a way I can assist. Hopefully, that's all of them, Captain. Okay. Well, just jinxed it. It's gonna be how awesome. how long range are our macro batteries? What's our range? Um, your macro batteries are. They're range six. Six, yes. Well, fuck. So you gotta get pretty close. Macro batteries are a short range weapon. Well, yeah, let's like let's do the same thing again. Away from people. Let's um, go down here. Do more scans. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make another scan then. Uh, a few of the Imperial ships are actually starting to move up opposite. Oh, yeah, uh, Grunty can aid the machine spirit. Yep, I'm doing that right now. I, so I can add to our uh, detection. I like how these map tool tokens just slowly plop into existence. <laughs> oh, damn. Alright, so that's uh, five. That's and then additional five for every up to... So does that mean five plus four? It says for every two additional. So is that five plus four or five plus three? Because does it? do you have to have one degree of success before you get the initial bonus? No, you just have to succeed. All right, so, so that's degrees. plus 25 to so that's our plus... detection. Okay, so with his already five degrees of success, he <laughs> rolled... So you'd be seven degrees, yeah, seven total. 
that is a lot, and that's enough to get you the rest of the Necron fleet. A very inquisitive machine spirit, but I wish... Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah. Well, fuck. Yeah, I sort of wish that... He wasn't so curious now. Um, excuse me, oh, Omnissiah. I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we should mention here that all of when I mouse over these tokens in map tool, they, there are names that pop up which aren't necessarily the, yes, the names not. the things should have in case anyone wonders. But there's yeah, a lot of shit, but no one wants to read. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. I hope it's the a big explosion that's going to happen then. Yeah, because they're that's substantial. Mm -hmm. So you relay this information back to the. Mm hmm. Uh, Inquisitor. Yeah. Uh, he gives you an order. He wants you to begin poking at the edges of the fleet and try to get them moving towards us and then basically get a couple of them chasing you and come back. Yeah. So how about we we do some kind of maneuver that looks... Uh, how? Give me my... Give me my... Okay. I can't... My fucking... I, I see it. Just okay, like... you guys see it? I can't. It's not yeah. showing. Oh, yeah, there we go. I see it. So how about we run, like, this turn around, and then go full speed, mm -hmm. drive by and shoot at some people, and then just keep going like this? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Do we so know that... we get back closer to the fleet, we turn back around and do it yeah. again. Do we have, uh... Any way of knowing, like, their, their weapon systems? And where they can shoot? Well, I guess that's what we're going to scan for now. We can right? do an active augury and focus yes. on a particular ship. So, let's just, like, let's try and get our ships over, uh, over speed up, do a turnaround, uh, and at the same time, let's, let's, like, scan this ship that's furthest out. Scan which one? This one. That one. Okay. So go ahead and move if you'd like to move. Where are you going? So we full speed is ten, right? Yes. Um, but uh, turning is a pilot test. Yeah. Also. Mm -hmm. okay. To choose when you turn. With the... So it's going to take us a few turns to do our uh, circling safely. And I can assist with either maneuverability or detection. So what do you want me? Well, detect to now. Or detect for now. Yeah. Might be Icarus better better do it do a good job. Do I wait till after the after Grunty's done his thing, or do I just roll it first? Oh, you should uh, wait until after Grunty doesn't rolls. Really matter, okay. yeah, it doesn't matter, right. but you should wait until okay. Grunty rolls. Oh, you don't you don't have to do a test if we're just gonna turn at the end of our maximum. Well, well yeah, he's for, talking about for, for yeah scanning. Yeah. I should just have a tech use button instead of having to use this drop down menu. A little worse. Two so that's, six. uh, yeah. It's an extra 10. Yeah, an extra plus, 10. Plus 10 to your scan. And you're scanning this little ship over here, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. That's, that's impressive, that is. It doesn't have any guns. <laughs> I don't really even is. see a ship. I mean, the alien Xenos technology and you have no idea. It's, it's impervious to our scans, Captain. It's not what I asked for. That does count as a basic success, right? Uh, with no. no. Oh, did you already Zero. edit your perception with my modifier? Yep. Okay. Yeah, he, uh, he, he ejected it. I don't think that's worth a reroll because we're going to get another chance to scan him on the next turn. Yep. We're so, going. in the meantime, the Imperial fleet has uh, ships moving up this way. Some of this little part have broken off over here and they're coming in up here. The battleship is moving forward very slowly. This part of the fleet's coming down here. These guys are all coming this way. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Okay, so we do we do our full movement and then we can turn. Is that how it works? Yes. Yes. Uh, so if you're turning now, or are you moving again? We're moving again. All right, go for it. Because we kind of want to get behind them, I think. Well, we're... Mm. We kind of just want to skim along the bottom of them. Yeah. All right, so... We're so gonna... Go ahead and scan again, if that's what you're doing. Yep. Another augury it's, test. Uh, it's going to do it. Yeah. Scan, scan, scan. Scan it. Slightly better. Actually, slightly worse, but... Well, with two degrees of success, it's exactly the same. It's plus ten. There hey. you go. Okay, uh, who wants to look at the result, scan results and try to figure out what you know about Necron technology? Ooh, I do, I do. But both oh. me and Mara can do it. So who, is anyone have knowledge, Xenos technology or anything like that? Well, oh. forbidden or Xenos. There you go, that'll do it. And You're going to roll that. I've yep. got Xenos as well, so I can assist. Yeah, yeah, yeah you so can assist I. then. <laughs> oh, so do you. You can assist. Awesome. And you can tell me to do it good, so that. No, uh, I can't because I told Icarus to do the right. yeah. yep. Skill. Plus 20. Plus 20 is not bad. Pretty good. One degree of success. I mean, who doesn't All these have 70s. forbidden. Yeah. Who doesn't have forbidden launch knows at this point? You have to on this ship. Yeah. It's, it's actually the rules. I don't have forbidden laws, Enos. I have regular laws, Enos. <laughs> but unfortunately, that doesn't help here. So, this ship is a Necron Dirge class escort. Uh, it's a raider sized ship. Um, it's got macro batteries. It might have a lance. You're not even sure, honestly. Not with that uh, scan and with that success on your test. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty quick. Yeah, but when it starts quick, moving. How quick? Are we quicker? I. Uh, you you think it might actually end up being faster than you? Fuck. Hmm. Well, um, hang on. where's our macro battery? Is it in the front or in the back? They're the kind in the sides, I believe. Uh, you have. Well, let's see. The shard cannon can basically fire anywhere. We don't yeah. have a shard front, cannon. Front, right, and left, your regular macro batteries can uh, fire because they're dorsal mounted. Okay, so we actually have to shoot them before we pass them. Oh, that well, well, unless yeah. we go far enough back that we can shoot one of the dudes in front. Yeah. What about what about the other ships in our fleet? Can they shoot backwards? Uh, no, no, you're all going to be shooting the same way. Yeah, so we've all got to, like, we've got to so, go, like, so, miles behind them, and then... Yeah, so we have to come come from this way, yeah. shoot them, and then go past them. Well, let's yeah. shoot their engines so they can't actually catch us. But maybe it'll make other ones chase. We can, we can come here, shoot them, and then, like, just try and turn right away instead of fly in front of them. We can just go, like, and just keep doing loops. Yeah, but we want to get them over here because we, yeah, want, we to want to draw funnel them, to them into into this guy. Oh, you want to we'll shoot them and then have them chase us? Yeah. yeah also, mm. a lot safer in the middle of the fleet than by so. I don't know. I think I think I think those guys in the middle of the fleet are going to be shooting too. Yep. I can also push us to flank speed. I can give us. I can make us faster. I'm more worried about being evasive than there being is. Fast. There is the very slight possibility that our engines will explode, but <laughs> Guys, there is so much Necron tank here that we, I'm sure we can find another engine. He yeah, exactly. Up. Well, once once the battleship blows up, uh, yeah. probably won't much Necron tank here. Yeah, he, um, but he can. Someone can ape the machine spirit to give us more maneuverability too. Uh, also, as soon as they start firing at us, I can give us bonus void shields. Well, I have a chance to at least. Okay. It's pretty. Uh, we should. 
Okay, so we've, we've checked out this ship. And while we keep moving, we should check out some of the other <laughs> ships here. But I guess in the meantime, we just move. Ten. Okay. This way. And of course, we relay all the information and everything. What about the other guys that are with us? Are they doing anything useful, or are they just following they're also us right they're, now? they're following you and they're also scanning. Did I give a bonus to scanning or something? No. <laughs> they're just not as amazing at it. Yeah, your ship's actually pretty good compared to some of the Imperial vessels. Uh, a lot of them are very good, but I mean, you also have more experience than most of them have. And Pancake Thursday. Yeah. Well, of course. Never underestimate the benefits. Of don't, don't turn Thursday into a pancake. Uh, currently, uh, Pancake Thursday hasn't benefited us that much, but I feel like it will in the long run. Yeah. I don't like how the, the guys up on the other flank are just going to run straight into them. That seems like a bad idea for them. Well, if that makes the Necrons think that we're as stupid as they are, they're like, oh, these humans are stupid idiots who just killed themselves on us then. All the more good era. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I've moved the Imperial fleet around a bit. What are you going to do now? You've moved up 10. You're going to scan yep. again. What are you scanning? Yep. A different ship. Yeah. This one, Jackal 38. Prepare the scans. There we go. That's better. So that's uh, 20. 20. So that's, that's 20. Knorr. Do it good. So that would be 50. Is it 50 or 40? 50. You get 25 from the ship, or you, or no, it's 20 from the ship, 20 from Grunty, and 10 from Kenor. Wow, how can I possibly fail? 10 degrees of success. Oh, 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 oh. Forbidden Lord Xenos, go, read, roll, uh, see, see what you know about the... So that's plus 20 for Grunty. This Necron Wait, ship. is Grunty actually the best of that? I guess he is the most intelligent. Yeah, he's the smartest, I think. Mm -hmm. No. One degree of success. No. Uh-uh. Oh, this is... No. Oh. It's... He's got a load. That, that was... We're not even engaged in combat yet. No. Yeah, I but... wanted no... In... Okay. <laughs> okay. Knowledge is power. Yes. Boom. Okay, Seven fine. Of success. Ah. This is a Jackal-class escort. Uh, it's a frigate, so it's a little bit bigger than the uh, raider that you previously scanned. Um, it's going to be not as fast as that one. Uh... It, uh, it seems like many of the ships around here, or there, there's a lot of jackals, is, is what you're seeing here. Uh, you don't pick up any void shields or anything like that. It has turrets. It's got a good amount of armor. Um, you see two macro batteries mounted on it, uh, and that's about it. Yeah. Unless there's anything very specific you wanted to know about the ship. They probably don't have void shields because they'll just repair the armor. Yeah, they'll have scarabs I just That seems like really undergunned for a vessel of that size. Maybe they, they, they have a hard time producing guns. Maybe the macro batteries uh, aren't as powerful as ours and are ten times stronger. Mm -hmm. So they're actually very heavily equipped. Or they're two torpedo boats. Are there any, like, obvious openings that the torpedo might come from? Uh, you don't see torpedo. Does it have uh, any weaknesses, like, that we could shoot at? Mm, no, not that you notice in particular. Mm. Okay, so okay. what are you doing? Continuing with the plan? Yeah. Um... So we move 10, and I guess after this it's time to turn, but uh, we should try and scan the, the uh, 
another one of these types. Yeah, one the, of those. Boom, the green boomerang one. The banana ships. Oh, is that the same sort that we saw before? Yeah, I think that was. Wasn't. Like the one just when we, were at Co when we were at Cobalt? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay. I think this next turn we should begin the turn. I agree. Because it can take quite a while. Can we, can we turn before? We move or do you have to move first? Uh, it depends on how good our our thing is, our test. Yeah. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. You you move and then turn, and you do the roll to turn. Bear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or adjust bear. I guess we would just do adjust bear in this case. So we're going to continue moving at top speed, I assume. Okay, so up here uh, at the north end of the Necron fleet, the Imperial ships begin firing at them. Oh no! You're beating us to it. Uh, they score a few hits. Uh, I am looking for... What's the range on our guns? About six. six. <laughs> okay. So, yes, the uh, your, your Imperial ships up there begin firing upon the Necrons. So go ahead and do what you're going to do now. Okay, well, since we're turning, I guess we should... We can go half speed, right? Mm -hmm. uh, just fine. So yes, that would be, go half, that's five. But then we have we have to do a pilot check, right? To turn? To, to, to turn sooner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can always turn, but this is just turning, like, really quickly. Yes, that's... Yeah. Uh, come to a new heading is a difficult, which is minus ten, pilot plus maneuverability test. That lets us turn twice. We could just adjust bearing. That means we can turn earlier. That's true, yes. Which is just a regular pilot test. Plus maneuverability. And how much do we get to turn? Like, is it 45 degrees? It's, 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 nine, it's, it's always 90 degrees, I think. It's the most okay. you can turn. Mm -hmm. So how about we move That's the most. It's based on class of ship. I mean, yeah. How, yeah. How, about, how about we try and uh, move 5 and turn 90 then? If we do that, I don't think we need to test. You don't need to. You don't need to yeah, roll. Yeah, we can, just, okay, we, can, cool. we can just do that. Yeah. Um, no, or or do we need to roll to slow down to five since we've been moving top speed? Nope. No, you, you can just, always just move to, at five. Yeah. If you oh, want yeah, to, you can always move half or. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Okay. Um, we do we want to let's rescan the first ship we scan because we don't know anything about its void if it has any void shields or not. Okay, this is going to help, Glenn. Yep. I was just looking for the book. I'm sorry, that's not. It's uh, one oh. Uh, it's still ten degrees. Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> well, so how much is that? So that is uh, 10 is 5 uh, 20, 30. 30. That ain't bad. So 60. Okay. Scan them. 4 degrees of success. Uh, forbidden Lorzinos. Eight degrees of success. Now. No void shields. Uh, it's mounted with a. Uh, th this is the dirge class. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. no void shields. It's mounted with a macro battery, and it does have a lance on it. And you're guessing it's over twice as fast as your ship. Sure. Well, fuck. Over well, they don't have to. They don't have to worry about. That's incredible. Being alive when it moves. No. Nope. <laughs> That is but super also, fast. I mean, hang on. At this point, the if they have no void, the distance, the distance to the uh, to the actual uh, our fleet is is less, anyways. So we're not going to be able to outrun them. But after one move, we'll be in range of the 
of the main fleet. Yeah. If they've got no void shields, does that mean it's better to do the salvo thing where you fire all your things at once because it's not going to get negated yeah. by the shield? Yep. Good, good, good. What exactly is a lance? Is it... It's a big laser, basically. It's a, yeah, and big... it's, like, it's best against unarmored tar or unshielded targets. It just fires a really one really big shot. I assume pretty much every ship in our fleet's got void shields. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Most yes. should. So they'll, um, they'll pop them with the macro batteries and then lance them down or whatever, or the other way around. Uh, we probably want to do some more maneuvering here, so we, we're in the right... Because if we only turn 90, we're going to be a bit, you know... Right. If you want to turn twice, we have to do the... Uh... So, well, if we, well, our, if, we actually, if we move 10 and then turn 90, then we're like... We'll be then like we're actually, them. Yeah, yeah we're, we're pretty fine, actually. As long as they don't shoot us, right? Do they do they have any weapons in the rear? Can they shoot us from behind? Uh, their weapons on the dirge are dorsal mounted, so they cannot shoot behind. What about the uh, jackals? Jackals are also dorsal mounted. Oh, well, there you go. That's handy. Okay. Maybe so... we should. Okay, yeah, we'll move to like here and then turn, and then I think that's just right for. Our uh, six range. Ah, hang on. Do, whoops. Okay, everyone gets to kind of tag along. Oh no, right. it's just out. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's seven. Is six? Yeah. Is six our default or our maximum? Because you can shoot farther than your default. You just take a penalty. That's your regular range. Yeah, I think we can shoot up to, like, 12. I don't think we want to shoot him yet. I think we want to shoot him when we're going past. Well, next turn. Next one. Yeah, well, we well, well you, have to, you have to move and then shoot, so we'll move and then we'll, like... Next turn we'll be here. Yeah. And then we could shoot some of them, I guess. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So am I scanning the uh, but, but if the they scout can't ones? if they can't shoot us, then we could just like kill this one maybe. If they Which can't one? I didn't see your arrow. The this one that's right here. Yeah. Because all the others are going to be out of range or can't shoot us because we're behind them, right? The, uh, out of the ones we've scanned, yes. Yeah. So can we shoot this? Yeah. Well, couldn't we have just gone one further up so we're in optimum no. range? Well, I mean, we would have to. We would have to do a have test. To roll. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, we should have thought about that, but we didn't. Uh, so, this? can we or can we not shoot this because it's a uh, distance seven? It's distance nine. Remember where the that's that other. Unless we measure from our closest ship. You measure from just your closest ship. Yeah. Okay. And it is seven. Um, I'm, I'm going to check the rules, but I'm pretty sure you can go up to double your range. It's just you take penalties. So it's time for space combat again, guys. Yeah, let's have a good time. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, maneuver actions, shooting actions, component, with different targets, firing weapons is covered later. Range. This is range of the weapon. May fire to targets no further away than twice the weapon's range. Uh, the shot suffers a minus 10 when you shoot in uh, over your max and you get plus 10 for shooting at half the limit. Okay, yeah, so it's just a minus 10. Yeah, that's not bad. No, we should do that. Who's the. Vendor's so better at shooting than me, but he's it's not, not here. Just your ship shooting. Um, you're you're shooting with massed fire. Um, so basically, you get a plus ten to hit for each uh, macro battery from the uh, your, from like your other squadron ships firing. They each only have one, so you get you're basically getting plus thirty to hit, and each the strength of the weapons that basically we're just all following the stats for your ship. But they're giving you bonuses, so you get plus thirty, and you're going to get plus three strength of the of the weapon. Okay. Of the macro battery. And, we, and we're 
Are we just going to fire the regular gun or are we going to shoot the special gun too? No, we're not shooting the special gun because we don't have the special gun. Okay, okay. I don't... If we're getting into a situation with combat, it might be time to use it. It's Nobody's like, going to notice us using it, I think. And they... even if they do, what are they going to do? Tell us to go back to the station and wait for detainment? Like, no. <laughs> we're kind of in the middle of a war. Yeah, but we're not going to be able to go back to the planet afterwards. I mean, you have to think further than just this battle. I mean... Uh, well, no, not really. We have to survive the battle. That's the main... This battle's kind of... Yeah. And are they gonna... Are they gonna notice? Look how far away they are. There's a lot of stuff going on. Yes, yes, they are gonna notice. They're paying attention to other things, like their impending doom. I mean, the ones with us might notice that we're shooting something a little bit different, but... We're not using it. Not now. Okay. All right. Is the, is we the... can shoot that backwards, though, can't we? Yes, that can yeah, be we, Yeah, like, completely. we can shoot that anywhere, which is why that's good. It's mounted on our underbelly, I believe. Yes, that's correct. Like a little pole. Okay, and plus 30, you say? Yep, plus 30. To hit. Yep. To yep. hit, and then minus 10, because we're away, and then 10 for Vendegroth doing it, because... Uh, yeah, if you, if you, yeah, if you want Vendegroth to do it, you can... Can definitely do it for you so yeah yeah we'll, we'll do him to do it then because he's got 10 more than me so that makes like his things okay better so it's like net plus 30 then yeah mm -hmm. with me assisting him okay you can go ahead and roll and he's rolling against a 65 plus 30 95 he's rolling against it oh right, yeah. right and we're, we're shooting all at once right yeah so, because there's no void shield yeah yeah we're doing the salvo thing how the hell that works. Okay, well, I can't use his token, so... Ah, well, uh, I, I, I yeah, guess I could just do bad. me and add the bonus, though. Uh, here. The difference, add an extra 12. Um... Exciting. Test versus characteristic, ballistics, modifier to roll, 30. There you go. Oh, wow. Well, soon. Soon it'll pop up. Oof. He, he got two degrees of success. Oh, oh. Ooh. Okay, so you were firing at this one here? Uh, uh, no, no, the other, the other one. This. Yeah, that one. That one there, okay. Um, your weapons, uh, let's see, manage my weapons. You are firing your regular macro battery, uh, which is strength three, so it's strength six now, uh, and it does 1d10 plus two. So with three degrees of or two degrees of success, that's three hits total. So go ahead and roll a d10 plus two three times. Did we hit a, a critical? Mm. I can't remember what the power on our battery is. I don't think it's. Uh, remind me how the critical I it, worked. I think we have to if you get at least as many hits as your critical rating. I think. Uh, critical hit. Uh, yes. You have to do as many as your critical yeah, rating for that six, weapon. Yeah, yeah. And so what's our for yours is... Five for that one. Oh, it's three okay. for your so, keel shard, yeah, yeah. shard camp. Yeah, three for it's the five for that, yeah. Okay, so, so what am I rolling? One d10? One d10 plus two and roll it three times. Do the rolls individually, yeah. Yeah. Oh, pretty good. Oh, uh, oh no. good rolls Ooh. all around. Yeah. You okay. Did, you... So you shoot this ship right here. Uh, mm -hmm. Your first hit, uh, there is a bright spark as your uh, macro batteries slam into something surrounding the ship. Uh, and it then disappears and your macro battery weapons uh, like don't hit it. They're just gone. Your second... Uh, it, your second uh, attack, the same thing happens, except a few of them get through and you damage the ship. Uh, your third attack, only uh, it, none of them get through and you don't end up doing any damage again. It just bright sparks is all like the bullets and missiles and stuff are annihilated. Ah. So there's some type of shield. Yeah, it's not a void shield, but I don't know what it is. Wow. Should I pretty a shield, though. then? 
Uh, well, it seems it seems like it seems like we need to do a lot. Uh, there's so, some type of penetration going on. We need to do more damage. Bit. Up here in the north, uh, a few of these Necron ships begin moving back over towards the ships here, uh, and begin exchange. Excuse me, exchanging some fire back and forth. Um, your Imperial ships are taking some damage. You're not really sure what's going on with them, though. Uh, so. We're reporting about this strange uh, shield behavior, by the way. Okay. To the rest of the fleet. Yeah, so maybe. Know. Yeah, maybe they know something about it. It mm -hmm. could help. Are you asking for information from the uh, Inquisitor? You yeah. can do that if you want, yeah. Yes. Um, you're going to have to make either a command or some sort of fellowship test to try to get this sort of information out of him. Okay. Uh, you're going to charm him? Back. No, he's he's going to charm, intimidate, him. command, whatever. Let's see. I need to, need to <laughs> check what I'm actually best at. Um, it's, a, it's a good thing that you get to do this, and it's not an astropath trying to charm the uh, Inquisitor. Yeah. Uh, well, it's. I mean, I'm better at command than I am at charm. Um, I could try and intimidate him, but I think he would get shocked that an alien suddenly could call him in the middle of a battle trying to spook him. Well, you'd be calling him to the astropath uh, telephone right, line. So yeah, so you wouldn't so, know. So uh, I'm using command to uh, to get some information on on this strange shield behavior that I've never seen before. Sure. Six degrees of success. Wow. Okay. Yeah. The, you you basically very officially, you, you, um, properly for the military mm -hmm. organization ask for information about the shielding that you're seeing uh the inquisitor his ship uh he's on this ship here by the way we'll, uh i have to be on this layer uh this one right here mm -hmm. um he responds that it's uh this type of shield technology that Necrons have. It's called quantum shielding. We've never been able to find a way around it. Uh, the shields only exist while the while your weapons are hitting them. Other than that, the shields are not part of our universe, so we've never been able to figure out a way to get past them. Okay. Are there any specific tactics that work best? Spreading out fire, mass fire? Like... Uh, very, very good hits, basically. Just be very as accurate as possible all right roll high okay so uh the necrons begin responding to your attack i, I haven't scanned yet uh scanned? no you you, you 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 attacked you haven't moved yeah. oh. since yeah. you last attacked so the necron ships uh let's see this little group here so this Wait. one comes down here to meet up with the other ones can we Go right on the side of our ship and say, but we didn't hurt you. Please don't attack us too hard. <laughs> uh, they did hurt them slightly. No. Maybe they'll run away. They move over here then. Those this group does. Fuckers are fast. Yeah. That's why I wanted fast. to wait to attack till we uh, got to the next one. Let me measure. So then we yes. can get attacked by all of them. That is in range. Uh, so they... Uh, are firing on your squadron of ships with macro batteries. Uh, and that's a few hits. Yeah. So, um... How many hits exactly? That is three hits. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to give us bonus void shields by deflecting away their shots. Okay. Go ahead. What? Uh, that was weird. I got an interesting message. Um, okay. Let's do that. And then that would be at a minus 60. So I failed. Pretty you good. Failed. Pretty well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Hmm. 
Mm, oh, actually, uh, no. I wouldn't have. I put it in wrong. Oh, you wouldn't have failed? No, I would have succeeded because uh, what I did wrong is oh. I had uh, an additional modifier of 5 instead of 5 PR. So I would oh, have succeeded okay. by one degree of success. So what exactly does this power do? Uh, so let me go pull it up. Okay, so in response to a single enemy shot, uh, if I succeed, uh, the vessel counts as having one additional void shield plus an additional void shield per degree of success. Okay. So that would have been two. So that gave two. us two bonus void shields. That's crazy. That's insane. Yeah, but he also has the risk of just fucking exploding, and it was hard. Yeah. Like minus yeah. 16. And then I also got two fatigue levels. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> ah. Okay. That's okay. Ah, and he can have uh, three <coughs> and that only three lasts. Times? That only lasts for this oh, turn? Before. Yeah. It, okay. it, it, like, it's just for this salvo. Like, I deflect right. away two okay. of the shots, basically. Okay. So, what happens is. Uh, and void, uh, void shields just straight up block an attack, right? That's, yeah. Yep. I just, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure I was correct. So, uh, you've never seen a weapon like this before, ever. Uh, instead of their macro batteries launching big missiles or rockets or bullets or anything like that, uh, all of their many many turrets on the ship point at your squadron of ships all at once and fill up the space around your vessel and your others in your squadron with electricity and lightning that's coming off of uh, all of their ships but your void shields manage to absorb all of it uh, and one of the other ships in your group takes a hit those fuckers And that's the end of their turn for now. I move the rest of the fleet forward. So go ahead, it's your turn. Well, I mean, we are moving this way, right? Mm hmm. Yep. You are now, yes. Yeah. So let's see how fast we can move. Are you going to push the engines? Well, I mean, if we get here by just uh, normally, and that, that means we could shoot this thing. If you wanted to, yeah. <laughs> and we can just, we can just, let's just use all the weapons, because I don't want to get hit by that scary thing again. Well, we're gonna get hit by that scary thing again. Because uh, the, I mean, if if we push our engines, we're gonna drive past this thing, and we'll only be able to use our C no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's probably not as good. So, if I'm just... if I'm assisting him shooting, I can't do other things, can I? Uh, correct. So maybe we just go 10 and shoot. Yeah, I think that. I think that's the best yeah, option. Yeah, yeah, it is best. Can I do any like analysis on this lightning weapon that they've got? Like uh, figure analysis. out figure out what exactly it is and does and how they're uh, generating it. You don't think you'd be able to figure that out just from seeing it? out the window well I've got like a scanner you've got the scanner uh, your scanners reported uh, as far as your ship's scanners understand their macro batteries on the enemy ship and then an electrical storm happened yes mm. okay I guess we're shooting them I can also provide a bonus to shooting actions, and it doesn't give me fatigue. That's good. So, yeah. like, it, it, it's up. Like, I can either do the additional void shields, or I can do this. So it's. Up well, to I mean, you guys. Well, you're gonna pass out if you do the void shields. Yeah, like, how much fatigue Once more. can you handle? Yeah, he can. I, I, he I can handle a four. Yeah. And so what he, happens when you're? No, he, he, he passes out for a certain amount of minutes. Yeah. That seems bad. Yeah. Let's not don't well, do that. I, each uh, phase of ship combat is 30 minutes, so I'd be back awake for the next phase. Hopefully. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I mean, I feel like at the moment... The shields maybe... is probably better. Well, that gives me if fatigue, wake so. up. If you're saying you wake up for the next phase... Possibly. I'm awake currently, yeah. So, well, you... I mean, 
let's shoot, let's, I, I feel like if you shoot this phase, like, the ship's fine. It's going to be more worrisome if we do take damage, and then we might need more void shields. Okay. I, I would, I would say, uh, yeah, like, we could, like, I hope we can take at least, like, one shot, but... If we get damaged know. and can't get out of here when that ship explodes, we, we need to make sure we don't take damage. I th yeah, I think maybe holding it back for the shields, because if you tell Vendoroth to shoot good, and we get in the plus 30, and are we within mm -hmm. six this time? Of um, this one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that's plus 50 on shooting right there already. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I won't actually really be able to provide much benefit. Okay, let's just let's just save. Uh... We'll save the save for the shields and hope he doesn't mm -hmm. explode, or get past or pass out for three yeah. years. <laughs> okay. So what are you, what are you doing? Uh, Vendroth's going to shoot with a plus fifty if Kanor's helping, and I'm assisting. I am. So plus 50, does that include the plus 30 from your other ships? Yeah. Okay, 50. Six degrees of That's success. Really good. There you go. Uh, all against this one ship here. So go ahead and roll uh, your damage. And, is that... and that does the crit too, with that. With the... Yes. Uh, are, you, are you also firing the shard cannon? Yeah. In that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, we are? Well, well, I, I, that's what said. I thought we... Yes. Okay, okay. So what am I rolling? Uh, your damage for your weapons is... That's six hits. Uh, how, I don't remember how it works with separate weapons. Uh, uh, I, I think you have to fire each like each one individually or something. No, yeah. because you can roll all your macro batteries at once. Yeah, but isn't, that like, a, isn't that like a special different thing gun, though? No, it... It's not. It should fire the same way. Um, here. Uh, let's have a look at Salvo. Firing a macro battery, successful roll scores one hit. Additional hit for each degree of success. She fires multiple macro batteries a single target before rolling to hit and determining damage for each macro battery. Character directly the fire is the option of adding the totals together and applying the new larger total. Hmm. Oh, you can combine it into a single damage. Yes, yeah, so I have to roll to so, shoot. No, the you... advantage of salvo is that because you're making all of them at once, you're much more likely to get a critical hit. The disadvantage is that you only get one would crit. block the entire yeah. salvo. Yeah. And also, you can only get one critical hit. Yeah. So technically, if we wanted to do the most damage, we would fire our weapons separately. But yeah, that but... also makes us less likely to, to hit. Crit. Yeah. Well, I mean, if do we just so do we add the damage together? No, because See, we want to do this is like, the same problem we had last time. I, I think we decided that the armor still applies to each hit because otherwise, yes, that we were salvos would be that, yeah. ridiculously powerful. Yeah, like if you if, like basically if you had like it can't it, just be a salvo means you get all the damage and only apply armor once. Otherwise, every ship would just instantly blow up. Yeah, no, like, like, uh, like I think the way it's supposed to work is if you have three guns, you use one to pop the void shield, and then you do the other two as a salvo, and just fucking end right. the fight right then, and it's kind of gross. Right. Because I mean, the, the with the way the shields are working, right? We want to do one shot that does a lot of damage yeah, wanna, rather than yeah. several shots. So we just want to get the best hit we can. Yeah. So let's just try and get one good hit. And then, is that a salvo then we need to do? Yeah. Which yeah. is what we did, basically. We just yeah, fired all yeah, the guns. Yeah. Yeah, but how do you roll damage for each macro? I, I, I think you still. See, this is why. This is where, like, the, again, this is the same problem we had last time. It's like This is the same problem we had last time. I don't as, remember how we as solved it. it. Is, as it is written, it sure does seem to me like you combine all the damage and then take the armor away once. But that can't be it, because if that was the case. Every ship would die to one salvo. Like maybe we should take a break and uh, say goodbye to YouTube while we discuss this. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> same time Let's we do get that. Call. Sorry, that YouTube. Time. You'll, you'll YouTube. figure out what happened next time. Tell Goodbye. us in the comments. Hi, YouTube. No, don't tell us in the comments because it'll probably be equally wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. I know I posted Bye. in the thread.